Today I'm taking a look at the Fengxiang S500 Pro. So I really like that this company does that. They actually include screws so that you can mount the thing. That really comes in handy because I often lose those that come in with the motherboard. It also comes with a screwdriver. So there is the M.2. And that is a standard 80 millimeter form factor, so that will fit into most M.2 slots. I'm gonna use this with an Acasis 405. So first I'm gonna to go to disk management and initialize it. Then right click, new simple volume, next, 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 finish. So there it is. Now if I want to change the partition, I just right click on it and I can go to shrink partition and we will shrink it by 100,000. So I can right click on this, make another simple volume. And then I will essentially have two different hard drives out of that. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to right click here and delete volume. Right click on the original volume, hit extend and keep hitting next. So there we go. Now, I want to do a crystal disk mark check. Okay, so for the sequential one megabyte eight process one thread, we got 2940 on the read and 1003 on the write. For the sequential one megabyte one process one thread, we got 138591. For the random 4K 32 process one thread, 448 and 189. And for the worst case scenario, random 4K one process one thread, we got nine and three. So the write is pretty fast. It's not as fast as I would expect out of an M.2, but it is not bad at all. The read, on the other hand, is right on par with what I would expect out of a drive of this speed. In fact, in this case is rated for 2850, so this actually read faster than what this case is capable of. So overall, that is a very nice drive.